Welcome to our review on light and colour. So the first thing you can see on the screen there is what's going to happen if we pass white light through the prism. So hopefully you've done that experiment at school where you've had the little ray boxes, you've had a prism and then you've shone the light through and what you end up with is that visible spectrum then produced on the piece of paper on the desk. Now what we're actually seeing there is the effect of dispersion. So what we find within our white light, we've got different frequencies. Now each frequency of light will therefore travel at a slightly different speed within the glass. So because of that, we refract it by a different amount. So the higher the frequency, the more refraction occurs. And therefore, what we end up with is the white light being split into all of those parts of our visible spectrum. So the red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo and violet. What we actually have inside our eye are a special type of cell called our cone cells. And these are actually sensitive to the different frequencies of our light. So what we've got are cells that are sensitive to the red, the green and the blue frequencies. So what's going to happen there is as the red, green and blue frequencies come into contact with our cone cells, their receptor cells, and they detect the frequencies, sending an impulse to the brain through the optic nerve. And your brain then interprets those signals to give you that perceived color of our surroundings. The next thing we need to consider is what happens if we use colored filters. Now, to give you an example here on the left hand side of the diagram, we've got all of the different frequencies of light that we get in our visible spectrum of white light. So red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo and violet. And we've placed a red filter. Now, what will happen as that light hits our red filter, all of the frequencies of light will be absorbed except for the red light. The red light is transmitted through. So on the other side of that filter, what we see is red. If we decided to go a little bit crazy and add a second different colored filter, then what we're going to see is nothing. Because what we'll have as a result of that, our red filter is going to absorb everything but the red. And then as it goes towards our green filter, that would absorb everything except the green. But we don't have any green light. So that will absorb our last bit, our red frequency, so that the objects just look black at that point. So if we consider that in a slightly different way, rather than using filters, we can have a green ball represented by my lovely diagram there for you. And if we shine white light on it, then it would look green because what happens is all of the different frequencies are absorbed with the exception of our green light, which is reflected. Hence, it looks green. If we have our same green ball, but we shine a red light on it, then that ball will look black. Because what happens is with the red light, we don't have any wavelengths that could be reflected. We only have the red, which will be absorbed by the ball. So if you're shining a colored light onto an object that has a different color, then what we end up with is something that appears black. Now, when we're considering reflection, it's all about the surface that we've got. So the reason that we use mirrors to look at ourselves and sort our hair and makeup, etc., is because we get a nice sharp image as our reflection. And the reason for that is because the reflection is what's called specular. So it's a regular reflection because it's got a lovely smooth surface. If we were to try to use a bit of paper for the same thing, it just doesn't work because the paper has what's called diffuse scattering. So you can see the different pictures there in the middle showing you this. On the left, we've got our mirror and on the right, we've got our bit of paper. It's worth bearing in mind, it's not only flat surfaces like paper and mirrors, etc., that are going to scatter light. We can also have light scattered by particles. So the reason that when you've got a glass of milk, it looks like it's white is because the particles are scattering all of the wavelengths that are hitting them. The reason that some ink will appear black is because the particles are absorbing all of those wavelengths of light. So when we're thinking about particles and molecules, etc., they do have the ability to scatter light. 
so that when we think about our atmosphere, which is made up of a range of different molecules, then they're very, very small, remember. So they're only going to scatter light with the short wavelengths, so blue light. Hence why our sky looks that lovely blue colour and not something else. Hopefully at the end of this video you can now explain what filters do and how the objects will appear when we use them. And you can explain colour in terms of absorption, transmission, reflection and scattering.